Stephen and Tasha, this happened last night just on the other side of Grace Wine here in Hell's Kitchen at West 44th and 10th Avenue. And then what we understand is that the victim left from here and got halfway down the block, realizing how bad his injury was, and then he was helped by two good Samaritans. That video you'll see in just a moment. And so while it hasn't been officially declared a biased crime, it appears that could just change any minute. While well, just a bit hard to see, nonetheless, this angle of surveillance video shows the attack. Around 1130 Wednesday night, police say a group of seven, possibly eight young people assaulted and stabbed a 44-year-old man near West 44th and 10th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen, City Councilman Eric Botcher's district. The initial reports indicate that a gentleman was subject to an anti-gay slur. When he stood up to himself, he was attacked by this group of young people. This video shows two Good Samaritans helping the victim who's on the far right before paramedics rushed him to the hospital. On Thursday morning, detectives with the NYPD Anti-Hate Crime Task Force were back on scene investigating the incident as a possible bias attack, a determination that gay rights advocates say is quite easy to make. Audacia Ray is director of community organizing and public advocacy for the anti-violence project of NYC. It creates this, this sense of, sense of of tension and lack of safety for folks um, and it, it really isolates people and makes it much more difficult to be in community and to um, fully develop as as a person. The perpetrators are believed to be between 18 to 20 years old and mostly young men. After the attack, authorities say they ran off in the direction of West 42nd Street. News of the incident drawing strong reaction from Hell's Kitchen residents who live nearby, like Jake Yedit, who's openly gay. My first reaction was just that. It's scary just because this neighborhood is so LGBT friendly and there's so many LGBT people walking around. And Christian Ortiz, who's straight, but an ally to the gay community. We have a community of a lot of gay people and nobody should feel threatened here. And it's a shame that that happened last night. It's really a shame. As you come back to us live, that reaction from Christian just about summing up the reaction from all of those that have just been stopping by asking us why we're here, why the other outlets that are covering this incident are here as well. Police need your help, however. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 1-800-577-TIPS. From Hell's Kitchen, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.